if I was not in APC after listening to Tinubu's speech in Kaduna, I would vote for him as Tomori. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when I post hot juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. During an interview with Arise News, a member of the Strategic Communication Directorate of the All Progressive Presidential Campaign Council, Shegun Tomori, stated that a speech made by the All Progressive Congress Presidential Candidate, Bola Metinambu, in Kaduna is enough reason for him to become president. While speaking further, he stated that Tinubu outlined the plans that would help resolve the issues in Nigeria, adding that he has a history in Lagos. According to him, I listened to his speech yesterday, and to be honest, if I was not a member of the All Progressive Congress and I was an undecided voter, if I listened to Asiwa Jibola Tinubu yesterday in Kaduna, standing for over one hour, reading out quite unprecedented policy initiative of what he would do in different sectors, I would vote for Asiwaju Bola Tadambo. After being asked for the reason why the manifesto was being delayed, he stated that it, it will be out in due time and to touch, all, to touch on all the issues in Nigeria. Well, what do you expect? You are in APC and of course, uh, Chinobu is a candidate, so what will you expect? Apart from, I don't know, he had quite a number of things he said he would do. He had quite a number of things he said he would do, but he did not tell us how he would achieve these things. And Nigeria as a country, we have gone beyond when people come and tell us, oh, if I become the president, I will make agricultural sector better. I am going to make sure the youth have employment. Eh? I'm going to make sure that, you know, I'm going to make sure that, you know, the educational sector is better and they don't have, they don't get to strike. I'll make sure. See, all those things is poems. You know how children, how they read rhymes now. When they teach them for school, you will get to repeat it and repeat it so that they are going to now know it. Good. That is how it sounds. We don't need all those things. What we need is people coming out. Presidential candidates coming out. Even if you don't tell us all your plans. Pick two sectors. Dissect those two sectors. Dissect them. Explain level by level what you're going to be doing how you're going to be doing it for instance you come you talk about let's say the economy sector you talk about how you're going to do it make us see that vision you're seeing make us see through you you know i always use this scenario when maybe you're going for a grant you are going to present your business idea if you have if you're still at the idea stage but if you say if you are a small business owner already who you're already in business Maybe you're looking for grants and you go to present it and they call you and you are, you are physical, dear, and, I mean, dear, life and direct. My goodness. All you need to do is to do what? Is to make sure you, your ideas, eh? your visions, your plans for that business, that you're able to communicate effectively. It goes beyond that we do this, I will do that. You will show them how. You show them how. They will be able to see your business grow in your speech. You will carry them along. And that is what's, what is going to make them invest in you. Or even if you're even going for a loan as well. So now, Nigeria is a country that we need somebody who will, who will manage it properly. It goes beyond this is what I will do and this is what I will do. It really goes beyond that. You must give us a blueprint that will reflect your vision, that will help us see the things you, you are saying that you're going to do. And of course, we're going to use it to hold you responsible as well or accountable. Okay. It is only a blind person that will vote APC again. But by the how much your paymasters pay you, the worst part of this is that all the people pushing Tinubu know that he is not fit to rule. How can you tell people that we need a good thinker that will turn the rotten situation into a bad one? APC and PDP should apologize to Nigerians. 24 years of Labour Party. Okay, 24 years. Labour Party will stand. Okay. My own is um, people have the right to choose. Why it is painful and why um, it always sounds frustrating that people choose APCs. I'm not going to lie to you. It's just like you and somebody have been friends. You have this childhood friends. You have been friends for a very long time. And you have seen how life have treated you unfairly. And you know that there could be better. It's not like you do not know. I've said it before. There are people in this country who do not know that they could get better life. Those people, they no believe, say, he gave it and they call power, he gave it and they call abroad, he gave it, they don't believe it. 
that their village life, that their very rural mentality, and then see carry. Unlike people who know that there is better for them. Do you understand? So those people who know that there is better for them, do you and that your friend and I don't they close. So they will be say, you have gone through life. Life has not been easy. You know the people will cause this problem. You know that there is more to life. And then all of a sudden, you can't they hear say your friend they support maybe the same people. You you go vex for your friend if that one is natural. I'd be no fun. You can say ah. even at the stage you say whether you the wine me. You understand? You won't say, are you joking with me? Are you serious? It is very natural. I understand. And the more reason is, this one is a country. This hand has to do with, if we pick the wrong person, that all of us go suffer. Him. If we do not pick the right person during this 2023 election, we go suffer him, all of us. But if we pick the right person, we can join him. So, because you go follow <laughs> in the suffer head, <laughs> we go up on <laughs> You are going to come out and start getting frustrated. That is why I keep saying, I understand why people get frustrated whenever they hear that, oh, people are going to be voting for the same people that put us in the same situation. Okay. I will have comm commended if a lady emphasis on the candidate, but saying the political party should not be voted shows you still have some learning to do. Sir, it is not the party that matters, but the candidate. We have we have working governors like the Mukabe, the PDP, and Zulum, the APC. Very correct. We also have bad governors across the parties. Do you really want to tell me that if instant we could refer to APC, you would not vote him this person is work? It is the individual that works and are made to follow the manifesto of the party. It could be understood that people vote for parties, but here such a thing does not exist. So we vote for candidates who are sure to deliver. Okay, we are sure can deliver. Okay. Mm. You want to labor till you die. What is labor? APC, Asurok Street, come 23. No problem. No problem. But do you remember that there is a man who had told Nigerians time to number that he will continue from where Barry stop? And he wants us to vote for him. I believe that you are born with sofa head. <laughs> oh my goodness. I want to continue with the sofa that Buhari had inflicted on Nigerians. But as for me and my entire family, please, we don't want to continue. You see what I'm saying? People's had it been this election, eh, there is a way you can vote for any political party without actually, how do I even say this now? There is a way you can vote for political party without, you know, the consequences. As in, whoever you pick, you will bear the consequence. I did tell you. I'm not sure people will be even wasting their time. To be sincere with you, whoever you want for you vote for. But unfortunately... We are going to bear the consequences, just like we are bearing all the insecurity, all the economy meltdown, all the inflation, all the educational sector breakdown, and all the health sector brain drain. All of us, they bear them. So, now, so it could be. All right, and this note, you've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.